Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Bitcoin Trade here. Uh, another episode, another day. Um, hope everyone had uh, some good trades going on. And so, let me uh, go out and move to Bitstamp here. So here's the uh, chart for Bitstamp. I pulled out to a six hour so you can get a better view of what's going on. Um, if you've been watching my episodes, you know what most of these lines have come from. So, there's the most recent price action. And, um, it looks like it can't, it can't break through quite yet. Um, I've drawn several different supporting lines here, and they both hit and fallen through. So, it's following this channel right here. Um, unless it breaks through here, which it might, um... You got to remember a lot of these things. Um, because I draw these lines, it doesn't mean anything. All right. So, um, but you know there is a good range here. So here's the range, in my opinion, of what it could be, and it's a lot to work with. And of course, that's what you know. That's that's a, a Bitcoin trade. So that's what we got here. Six hour. It's breaking. Uh, it looks like it's breaking down here, going. Uh, down as following this channel right here going this way so <clears throat> six hour we can zoom in on a, here's what it looks like in a four hour here's what it looks like on a two hour so two hour you really see it um, you can see that this was kind of like the supporting area and you could tell a lot of a lot of a lot of people were trading on that that it fell here and then took a bounce and then broke down so, looks like uh, it's coming down, and you got to be careful because when it when it comes down, since it's a downtrending, uh, the channel has more room to go down, and so you so you really see it here on the four hour, or I'm sorry, on the two hour. But you know, you pull back a little four hour right there, and um, you know that's that's what it looks like right now. So it looks like it's 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 going down, and it might. It, uh, hit the support right here. It's got a lot of room to fall. So let's let's see some other areas that where it could be a support. Like you see right, oh, you see right here. Like it's already being, it's already testing this low right here, in particular, this one right here. So it's already testing that low, and if it breaks down, as you can see right here. So if it breaks below that, um, the next low will will be back here again and it's going to test this low here and it's going to test that support this price range right around here and uh, who knows we technically we're you know if you look at this we're still in a triangle this is a big triangle right here as well this was a little triangle possibly able to break out but nope broke down so probably look for some pressure to go down again uh, support around here in this area and then uh, as the triangle gets smaller again going down this way uh, it may pop back up again so a lot of ranging going on a lot of sideways action and then moving down so all right that's bit stamp let's look at bit C and again six hour and if you see this little line right here that is the hard top resistant line so let me see if you're wondering where the resistant line was it's 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 up in this corner that little line right there so it's broken through out of this channel and it's gone out um, so uh, let me see here let me zoom in there's the four hour and we'll go to two hour and on two hour you see it really good um, this is a lot of price movement for a two hour period and so, like I said, a lot of people were probably trading on, on, on this, hoping that this would uh, lead to an uptrend, and it broke through down, stopped around here, bounced up, and it's kind of breaking down, but maintaining. Not as bad as um, bit stamp there, but, you know, uh, bit C has always been undervalued, uh, in my opinion. If you look at the, you know, valuation-wise. It's so tempting to trade here, but at the same time, you know, I, I always hear warnings about trading on Bitsy. But 
for those of you who do, uh, I have a chart here. Uh, even if you don't trade on Bitsy, you should know the price of, of Bitsy um, because you can use it to, um, you know, this is a valid price. All, these are all valid prices for, for Bitcoin, but you notice that they're all different. Um, <clears throat> so there's that. And, uh, let's see, on a two hour, and it depends. Uh, it's, it looks like it's breaking down as well. And you know, let's let's see where it could possibly go as far as price. So this one has not reached. Uh, see this low right here in particular. This one right, right there. Um. <laughs> excuse me. Oh. So um, it hasn't quite reached this low, as you can see. So it hasn't completely broken down yet, but it's showing signs of weakness. So it could be going um, some pressure downward. And so, which is which is good and bad. I mean, it, it depends how you look at it. If you have bitcoins, it kind of sucks. But at the same time, you know that you can, um, you know, short the bitcoin um, if you're trading, and then buy in later when it's cheaper and uh, what I've noticed is as the price goes down I get a lot more um, requests for a buy order and when I notice this, when the price goes up um, I get a lot of sell orders ironically um, and my buy orders tend to decrease and my sell orders tend to increase so you know play it as you will um, but if, if the price goes down for me, you know, um, I, I trade in the real world and, and, you know, I trade on different platforms. So it works out for me one way or the other, you know, um, thing about Bitcoin is that you can always, um, you're buying and selling, uh, performing arbitrage. It doesn't. You know, when you perform arbitrage, the the definition is that you instantly, instantaneously, uh, buy something and sell something instantaneously. Uh, that that is true, but you can also perform arbitrage uh, on a longer time frame period. All right. So it doesn't have to be instant. It could be a couple days. It could be a week old. You know, the the point is you can buy and sell instantly. Um, that is true, but uh, when you buy and when you sell um, can be extended. Doesn't have to be instant. So here's uh, Bit uh, Bitsy, yeah, Bitsy. Let's go into Bitfin, and Bitfin has a different look to it, and very similar to Bitsy in the way it worked. But but this one's very different because um, let's see if we go into day. Uh, if you look. This is the hard line according to um, Bitfin. So in a, in, a, in a way, it's already broken out, and it's still in a slight uptrend here. Um, for me, Bitfin seems to be a, a, tr a trader's platform because of all the all the things you can do. You can short, you can do trailing stops, you can do a lot of stuff like a currency platform. And, and then some, and you can do margin trading. Um, they they offer some liquidity stops, um, swaps. Uh, so they they've changed a little bit of what they've done. Um, I got an email from them saying what they are going to do and how they made these changes and everything. And you know it, it works for me. I mean I just I just do straight exchange. I don't mess around with borrowing bitcoins. I don't. You know, I, that's something that that you can do. You can trade on a margin, but uh, for me, you know, that goes against everything. Um, that goes against my principle. You know, Bitcoin's not to be borrowed or or loaned out. Um, either you have it or you don't. You know, so there's there's Bitfin. Uh, what I, what I kind of do like about Bitfin compared to some of the other exchanges, and when you look at the market depth here is you'll see a lot of market depth. Um, does it help? No. Not really, not that much as you would think, but 
but it does help when I'm when I'm making the trade at that time at that moment uh, especially when I see I see a lot more limit orders in in Bitfin than I would compared to you know let's say like a uh, a bit C um, as far as over over here not not this per se but over here but even if you look at um, at how many bitcoins they have on limit orders it seems to be smaller on bit C and um, you know bitstamp seems to have a pretty good limit order uh, market depth here uh, but not as not as much as I see it on on Bitfin. They, there just seems to be more larger, rounder numbers instead of fractional bitcoins. You see whole bitcoins, you know. So there's there's some liquidity, definitely over at Bitfin. Sometimes, um, not all the time. Uh, and then you see Bitfin doing the same thing. Let me zoom in here. Uh, six hour, four hour, two hour. So two hours you're seeing a little bit, you're seeing it here. So here's that resistant line, and it did break through and it was just following it. And then it's trying to come out of it again, and it's falling down, and look how the way it, it falls. A lot, of, a lot of people who trade are trading on these kind of lines, and they're making another line, hoping that this is the bottom, and it's fallen and it's hit it. It's gone against this resistant line here, and uh, it, it might bounce on top of it as a support for a while, and who knows? could go up or could break through down so um, Bitfin is kind of different it, it, it reads a little differently because I think there's a lot more volatility and a lot of speculation more more speculation um, probably through than the other, other exchanges but also it, it it's uh, Bitfin is kind of like a, um, a, a mix of Bitstamp and BitC pricing going on kind of uh, it's hard to explain. You got to trade on there to understand. But right now, um, it looks like uh, you know Bitfin is at the highest price right now, and you know that's that's kind of what I'm talking about. When you got to, uh, if you spread your your trades on on the different exchanges, you get to play on the different action. Uh, possibly you could be trading from exchange to exchange, as possible. But uh, really, what you want to do is you want to use these prices here to, um, you know, even Coinbase uh, to perform arbitrage in reality. So there's that. And uh, let me see here where the. So it's already kind of hit a support line somewhere on these two, right here on these two lows. Let me back up here. So you, you know it's 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 get, it's almost there, almost there. It hasn't quite hit. It's, it's hit this one right here. It's hit this low, but it hasn't hit this low yet. And then here's your support line right here. There's another big support line, but you know here it is. It looks like it's going down. Matter of fact, Bitstamp has already gone down a little bit right here. So Bitstamp's already br breaking through, so that's a sign. Looks like it's headed down. Looks like someone's making a big sell order. Let me see. 200, 300, let's see how far it goes. Up to 400. So oh, we're hitting, we're hitting, this is a big limit order. It looks like it's, ooh, ooh, look at that. There it goes. We're off to the races. Now there's somebody had a fat finger. Wow, you're seeing this live right here. 595 Bitcoin. It was probably a 600 Bitcoin uh, sell order. So look at that. Look at that move. You all witnessed it right here. So let's let's just say it's on the back on a downtrend. All right. <laughs> and let's see how the other exchanges follow. No, no, it hasn't. Not not quite the same. Not quite the same. Uh, look at the price. Look at the price. Uh, I'm glad you're all seeing this right now. Uh, Bitstamp is lower than BitC and and Bitfin. This could be an early warning of downward pressure, or it could be a great opportunity to buy if you're if you're in one of these exchanges already, because in fact the uh, uh, the price parity. Matter of fact, Bitfin's maintaining a really good price. If you're if you're there, oh, sorry. So if you're if you're on Bitfin, it's maintaining a good price. Coin Coinbase is falling now. Let's have a look at Coinbase real quick. 
and Coinbase fell. Uh, Coinbase follows a lot of uh, uh, Bitstamp, <clears throat> so, but I've noticed uh, sometimes the, the pricing of Bitstamp and Bitfin and, and Coinbase have been very similar in that regard. So uh, there you go. Uh, a lot of people buying now. Look at that. Uh, this is Coinbase. So we're we're kind of back onto a downtrend. It's it's following this channel here. How far will it go? Let's see here. It's already playing around that price level. Um, I'm just looking at this low here, and yeah, that seems right. I think it may even stop right there. So, <laughs> excuse me. Oh. <laughs> All right. So oh, there you go. You just saw, you just saw some good price action. Um, well, I think we're on a. I think it may follow this downtrend slightly, but long as it's very close, there's still a possible chance for a breakout. Um, but so far, I have to say it's going back on the down. Um, at the same time, it could be a great great price to buy, uh, great price to um, buy into as well. But if you're into money, um, you, sh you might want to sell out here uh, because you're already seeing a um, trending downward here again. And uh, let's take a look at one more thing here. Um, just to make sure, let's go to this. This is Bitstamp. Two days on a 15 minute. Let's see what it looks like now. Boom! Yeah. That's that's amazing. But it looks like it's recovered some. Anyways, uh, let's go to a five day. Yeah, so it's showing a downtrend. If you look at that uh, if you look at that line here, uh, the the spread spreading of the two weighted average that's really going to affect the weighted average there so um, I would say uh, look for wait for this to cross and that may be a good buying signal uh, let's let's take another one uh, Bitfin same time period so there you go so so the um, the 25 period Weighted average seems to be the resistance on that, so watch out for that. And then Bitsy, let's do Bitsy real quick. And yeah, same thing. Uh, the 25 period average seems to be the um, resistance. So, anyway, th there you go. Uh, let's take a look at one more here and let's see if anything's turned red. Alright, it's almost almost looks like it's crossing back down but you never know um, as long as this thing is green uh, most of it uh, you still have to consider the fact that it's still an up channel or a up trending um, buying signal so there you go it's gonna be a short episode hopefully this is gonna help you all trade you saw it you saw it as I saw it right now all right um, feel free to comment like dislike or even leave a video response. Until next time, stay tuned. Bye.